Welcome to DroneLink. Let's get started by making sure that your drone is supported. Open a browser and head to dronelink.com slash supported hyphen drones and make sure that your drone appears on the list. Once you've done that, it's time to move over to your mobile device. Since there are different versions of DroneLink depending on which drone you have, it's important to start on the DroneLink download page. This page helps ensure that you install the correct app for the drone that you have. Otherwise, DroneLink will not work. Open a browser and go to dronelink.com slash download. Use the drop-down to pick which drone you will be using. Once you have selected the drone, you'll be presented with options for the different devices and operating systems available. Pick the one that suits your needs and then follow the on-screen instructions to install DroneLink on your device. Once installed, open DroneLink and grant it all of the permissions that it asks for. If you don't grant all permissions, the app may not function properly. Now let's take a look at the RC Pro Enterprise Controller. As before, we're going to open a browser and go to dronelink.com slash download. However, this time, once we select the Mavic 3 Enterprise, you'll see we do not get the option to install from an app store. Instead, you have to download. So click on the download option. You may get a message saying that the file cannot be scanned, but download anyway. Once the file is downloaded, click open to install DroneLink on the RC Pro controller. As before, open the application and grant any permissions that are requested. And now we're ready to connect the drone. We're going to connect the drone using the DJI app to make sure that everything is working. And then we're going to force close the app to make sure that it doesn't interfere with DroneLink. The procedure for force closing is different depending on whether you're on a DJI controller or a mobile device. So we're going to start with the DJI controller and then I'll move over to show you how to do this on a smartphone. Once you're sure everything is working correctly, close the DJI app, select settings, apps and notifications, and then select the DJI Pilot 2 app. Click on force stop and say OK when you get the message that it might misbehave. And now I'll show you how to force close on a smartphone and also follow with a simple test to make sure that your smartphone is powerful enough to run DroneLink. As before, make sure that everything is working in the DJI app and then close the DJI app. Then force close the DJI app to make sure that it won't interfere with DroneLink. Then start DroneLink. The button in the top right hand corner will turn green. Press that to access the flight dashboard. Now we're going to run a quick test to make sure that your device is powerful enough to run DroneLink. Hit the three dots in the top right hand corner and then click on the tab on the top right. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and activate the mission accomplished confetti. If the confetti animation runs smoothly, then your device should be fine for using DroneLink. If your animation runs slowly, like this iPhone 6, you might want to consider another device before running DroneLink. But if everything looks good, you can now take off and use DroneLink to fly manually. But to really get the power out of DroneLink, you're going to need an account, and that's what we'll cover in the next video.